bad influences will be the reason you don't succeed. The current girl that I have right now, which I honestly plan to marry because she's quite literally the 10 out of 10 that I was searching for this entire time. If you go back and look at my old videos, she literally has everything that I could look for in a 10 out of 10 girl. And it, the fact that I found her at a young age is insane. And you might think I'm coping and you know, you probably think it's like every other high school relationship. It is what it is, to be honest, I don't really care. But going into eighth grade, I knew this current girl. You know, at the time she wasn't at the point she is now. Um, but I met a really bad influence who helped me honestly in my social life, but was bad in every other way. Like my mental health was horrible and plummeting because of him. My work was plummeting because of him. Everything about him was bad. And I just couldn't see that he was a bad influence. I started acting like him. So I started playing video games. I started, you know, texting a bunch of different girls. And eventually I was just like becoming a complete asshole to the girl that I actually wanted to date. And so I ended up blocking her. And if if you knew, this video is unlisted right now, but if you've seen it, you know the full story. You've known that I've like blocked her like four times and unadded her like every single time. And now we're here. But you need to realize the bad influences. And to realize this, you really need to deep journal about it. You need to deep journal about who, like each individual person, every major person in your life, you need to journal about, is this a person I would want to be like? Because you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you spend, you know, the most time around, you know, people like yourself, people like me, people like us, we're going, you're going to become more like them. You're going to become, you know, more driven. But if you spend time around, those weirdos who play video games all day, those weirdos who just watch YouTube and TikTok all day, you're going to become like them. That's what happened to me. That's what's gonna to happen to you too. And I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you not make the mistake I made. If you've already made that mistake, you should have acknowledged it and don't let that happen again. And you don't, don't just instantly block them, just like slowly ghost them, slowly start like not responding to their messages, slowly start ignoring them. And then that'll kind of, they'll start to kind of like get the hint. And then after a while, you can just unadd them. And then if they ask to say, oh, you know, we didn't talk anymore. But that's the way I do it. Because if you just block someone, it's going to cause a lot of issues. And that's what I've learned because I've blocked hella fucking people because I just don't like them. I just don't like people. Um, I like people like us. I don't like those degenerates that you see in like, you know, our school. And these influences don't have to be in person. These these it could be an influencer like trend twins bro i was dead ass like seriously considering taking steroids because of the trend twins sam Suluk, um ronnie coleman bro like all those big fitness influencers i was like so close to, like actually trying to like find steroids and take them but i'm so glad i didn't because i stopped watching them i stopped like being like them and i realized i actually want to live a long fulfilling life i don't want to die at like 30 just to have a little bit of extra muscle and look like some big fat meaty bodybuilder. That's not even a good look too. Like it's not even a good look. <laughs> like it just looks stupid and it's, it looks uncomfortable. Like it genuinely looks uncomfortable. I'd probably cry if I was like that dude, imagine trying to take a fucking shower. Your arms are like fucking this. Like what are you doing? And you might probably be thinking to yourself right now, um, I wanna cut them out right now. You know, I, I, don't, I don't wanna wait. Like I said, bro, if you wait, it will be so much better. Or you can honestly, this is so manipulative, but you can make them block you by being, by doing things that they don't approve of and then they'll end up be the ones blocking you. And so they won't feel bad about it and you won't feel bad about it because you've, manip you've manipulated them into hating you. So then yeah, pretty much guarantees that they won't ever talk to you again. But after you block and get rid of these people, you realize, how much they were actually holding you back, like a fucking crab in a bucket. Imagine trying to climb out, climb out of a bucket and like you're a crab and the crabs just keep pulling you back down. That's pretty much what these people are. They're like fucking crabs, dude. And this is what worked for me and I know it will work for you too. And so your actual step for this video, right after this video, or even right now, go ahead and start walking to your journal, pull out a pen. Right now, you better be fucking walking or you're a bitch. I'm not kidding, bro. You better be walking. Journal about people in your life. Every single individual in your life, you need to journal about them and say, is this a good or bad person that I want to talk to? Even your family members, even your family members. Now, obviously, if you're a kid, you know, like my age, you can't like just stop talking to your mom and dad. But um, 
And honestly, I wouldn't either. You know, set them free, bro. They've they've given you a lifestyle. You need to pay them back. Don't be an asshole. Um, if you want to subscribe, scroll down, watch um, you know other videos. Uh, join my Discord community to talk to like-minded individuals like us. Uh, thanks for watching, bro. I'll see you in the next one.